Hi, this is Kei. I live in Tokyo. I've been a software engineer for nine years. Today, I want to talk about mobile app development 2024. Before I start to talk about this topic, I want to talk about my career as a software engineer. As I said, I have been a software engineer for nine years. I started my career in 2015. I graduated from university March 2015. And then I joined the company running a service about selling a used car platform. And then at that company, I was assigned the team of developing a new iOS and Android app. So at the first, I was not a software engineer. I was a director of the team. So I communicated with designer and uh, software engineers and made some schedules, made some uh, document or something to go on the project. At that time, I communicated with software engineers a lot. So then I figured out soft software engineers is better for me. That's because yeah, they have a lot of skills and uh, they can work anywhere, anytime. At that time, I don't have any skills. I don't have specific skills. I just graduated from university. And uh, to be honest, I didn't major in computer science. I majored in mechanical engineering. So I didn't have experience about computer science and programming so much. So I figured out I should have got skills. And then I switched to the software engineer at that company. Yeah, I asked their software engineers to teach me how to do programming. They are so kind to teach me how to do making an app. And of course, after working, I studied a lot and I switched to software engineer um, fall or winter in 2015. At first, I did Android development, so Java. Java was the language I do. At first, I called with Java and made a Android app. And I had been doing that for four or five months. After that, I did Swift, Swift for iOS. I had been a Swift for five or six months again. And then I switched my company I worked. And the second company, I worked as an iOS software engineer. After that, I switched company again. I worked at a startup company called Graffiti. I worked for one and a half years. After that, I became freelancer. I had been freelancer for one and a half years again. And I made my own company 2020 April. I'm running that company still now. So has been a software engineer, especially for mobile app development for nine years, a half year for Java, four years for Swift, and four years for Flutter. And I made a Flutter engineers community called Flutter Daigaku. And I had a YouTube channel that have 13,000 subscribers. Yeah, I had a lot of attention for software engineers in Japan as for Flutter. So publish company asked me to write a Flutter book for the bookstore. So I published this book December 2023. So I'm in a position of Flutter now. Sometimes I communicated with Flutter guys in Japan and uh, I had communicated with Googlers who is in charge of Flutter. So I likely to say my opinion as a position talk or Flutter guy. So please hear my opinion thinking about that. So let's get back to the topic. How about a mobile app development in 2024? As I said, I had experience for Java, Swift and Flutter and a little bit Kotlin for Android and a little bit React Native. So I want to talk about that topic from the three point of view. First, productivity. And second, job opportunity. And the third is future. So first, productivity. As for productivity, which is a better framework for mobile app development in 2024. As for productivity, rather is uh, first. And the second is, of course, React Native and Swift and Kotlin. 
I think so that. That's because, you know, Flutter and React Native is cross-platform framework. So you can make both Android and iOS and also web apps from one code base. That is very productive, you know. And Flutter and uh, React Native, is, it is very developed already. At first, yeah, there were a lot of bugs to build iOS and Android apps. But recently, it is very developed. So you can do that easily, much easier than the past. So yeah, as for productivity, cross-platform framework like uh, Flutter and React Native is better. And um, what is about Flutter vs React Native? Both of them are cross-platform, so which is the stronger? As for productivity, I recommend Flutter. Of course, React Native is good. I don't like to say React Native is bad. React Native is also good, but as for productivity, Flutter is better. This opinion based from my experience, so it depends on who say that opinion. <laughs> this is my opinion. Yeah, Flutter is very productive framework. You can yeah, you can make um screen like a puzzle. Yeah, you can make a screen from some widgets. Widget, 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 and screen is completed. <laughs> Something like that. So very easy. And React Native is based on React from the web. So the way of coding is of course similar with React for the web. So as for web developer, React is very easy to code. But for mobile app developer like me, screens code base and uh, logic code base should be separated, I think. So I think in Flutter, that is easy to separate it, you know. So of course, um, it depends on how to code. Even in React, you can write a code or such a thing. But in general, Flutter is easier to separate two things. Yeah, that is my opinion. So for beginners, Coding logic is very difficult, but just making a screen is very easy, very intuitive. Yeah, intuitive is very important for beginners to make an app. Complicated programming stuff is enemy for beginners, I think. So Flutter is very easy to do that. Okay, and the second point of view, that is job opportunity. As for job opportunity, of course, it depends on where you live in. I live in Tokyo, Japan. You live in where? You live in US, Germany, India. I live in Vietnam. I live in Singapore. It is interesting that I saw the YouTube analytics. There are a lot of, yeah, lot of areas who are watching my YouTube channel. So many kinds of regions, people watching this YouTube channel. Yeah, I appreciate it. And so, yeah. It depends on where you live in. Yeah, I'm good at talking about Tokyo, so I, I wanna talk about Tokyo at first. Um, as for Tokyo and uh, Japan, job opportunity for mobile app development, Swift is still strong. Yeah, Swift and Kotlin, that's kind of native languages, yeah, still strong. Yeah, of course, it's, it's original, so it's very strong, of course. But yeah, Flutter and React Native is recently gradually standing out. And you know, what is about Flutter vs React Native? It's, I think Flutter is a little bit beats React Native. Flutter is a winner. It's a little bit. Yeah, that's because yeah, some famous companies use Flutter. Toyota is using Flutter for car navigation system for Toyota cars, and that is the very biggest one. And uh, there are many companies start to use Flutter recently. And yeah, React Native is yeah still used in some companies, but it's if they have a resource of Flutter engineers, they tend to select Flutter rather than React Native. So as for job opportunity in Japan, Flutter is gradually standing out. And then, but still now, Swift and Kotlin, something like a native languages, is very strong. Yeah, it's stronger than much platform. But selecting Flutter is not a bad choice as for job opportunity. And the last one, number three, is 
future. What is the future of Flutter and React Native and Swift and Kotlin? I think, yeah, yeah, I'm good at talking about iOS stuff. So at first I will talk about iOS and Swift. So, you know, Apple Vision Pro show up. Yeah, it's already on sale in the US. In Japan, we couldn't get a Vision Pro in the App Store in Tokyo. But some VR and AR guides is going to the US and uh, picking up a Vision Pro in the San Francisco or somewhere and coming back recently. Apple Vision Pro is made by Apple and Apple Vision's app will be made by Swift, of course, and of course Unity. From that perspective, Swift will be very stronger. Maybe Flutter can be used in Apple Vision platform as well, but maybe Swift is better to make a, make a Vision Pro apps. So yeah, in the future, not only smartphone, but also yeah, AR graphs like uh, Vision Pro and uh, some other devices show up. So use case of programming should be barriers. So in that perspective, yeah, Swift will be stronger in the future, maybe. But Flutter will survive, I think. Flutter is made by Google. Google has a Flutter team and uh, they do a lot of marketing for Flutter engineers and uh, gaming market. Japan has a very huge gaming market. You know, Nintendo and uh, yeah, Sony's PlayStation and, uh, and uh, so on. There are a lot of gaming company and uh, anime and game is a huge market from Japan. And last December, Flutter team from Google was coming to Tokyo and uh, yeah, they, they were doing some event for gaming developers. So yeah, Flutter is coming to the gaming market. Video games will still be huge market in the future as well. So, so Flutter will survive in the gaming market and uh, of course mobile app market and uh, a little bit use case for Vision Pro or something like uh, AR Gogo. And last one is React Native. React Native is made by Meta or Facebook. Um, yeah, of course, Meta is also making Oculus VR headset. Uh, but as for Oculus, React Native is no use for Oculus. So yeah, in that market, React Native is no use. Yeah, in the AR VR Google market, React Native is no use. So. Mm, it's very tough for React Native, I think, in the future. So in the future, Flutter will not be standing as the king of mobile app development, but yeah, still survive and the Swift will be standing out again. Yeah, that is my opinion. React Native will be this, <laughs> I think. So that's it today. What do you think of mobile app development 2024? For now, I recommend Flutter to start to make an app. That's because, as I said, Flutter is a very productive. If you don't have to think about job opportunity, Flutter is uh, absolutely the best choice for you. But in job opportunity, it depends on where do you live in. Maybe in the US, React Native is stronger than Flutter. And uh, in European countries, maybe Flutter is stronger than React Native, according to my investigation in the internet. Uh, I don't know about other Asian countries like uh, Vietnam, but I have one friend who is running a company, offshore IT company in Vietnam. He said Flutter is very popular in Vietnam. So in B Vietnam, also some Japanese and other Korean company coming to the Vietnam and uh, running a IT company, making an apps or something. So in Vietnam, maybe Flutter is stronger than React Native. That's it today. Thank you for watching. This is just my opinion. If you have another perspective, please leave a comment. Yeah, let's do a discussion about that. Yeah, see you again. Bye.